Sir, Mr. Perkins? What is this? A uh, banana. I know it's a banana. What's this? Oh, those would be bruises, sir. Bruises? Yeah, I thought it might appear more realistic if the fruit had bruises on them. Oh. <laughs> Come here, Stan. All right, where is it? <laughs> All right. What's this? That's my bruised banana. No, that's my bruised banana. Came up with the whole concept back in 1997. You see, the whole idea was to alternate your fruit incrementally from fresh to ripe to rotten, giving the customer the total wax fruit experience. Wow, that's brilliant. Why don't you go ahead with it? Uh, Feldman shot it down. Said, you know, in 45 years, we never had a Feldman banana with a bruise on it. So, if it ain't broke. Henry. Now? Right now. Okay. Right. You are in late. All right. I'm fine. Trust is the key to every great relationship, even the tragic ones. It was trust when Eve gave Adam that apple when Delilah cut Samson's hair. It was even trust when Ross screwed around on Rachel when he thought they were on a break. Mm. But what these couples didn't do is communicate. You're late. We had a rush order on Kung I tried mm. that, all right, but it just blows up in my face, you know? And, and then she's all mad because I'm checking out some websites. What kind of websites? Smokinghotchicks.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's put a pin in that. Ah, oh, welcome, Henry. Now, in our last session, Carol was concerned that Henry is a creature of habit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, Mr. Rogers. Dr. Rogers. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Uh, could we go on to somebody else first, please? 
You see, Henry's hidden self is his true self. Which is true for all ourselves. But we see his false self, which manifests itself in his ritualistic, routine, compulsive behavior. Yes, that's true. Henry never takes any chances. There is no spontaneity in our lives. No joie de vivre. Joie de what? Let's see. It's Bumblebee tuna every day for lunch. 6.30, Miller Lite time. 8 o'clock, Nick at night for dinner. And the best of Tom Jones CD before bed. Tom Jones? It's like living with Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, today is Henry's birthday. Happy birthday. And you know what he wants? The exact same brown lamb skin briefcase. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Perhaps you'd rather discuss Carol's collection of phallics. <gasps> oh. Phallics? They are not Gross. phallics. They are nudes. Well, whatever you call them, they're just a bunch of... <laughs> Do you use live models? Carol's been painting and sculpting naked people forever, but she never shows them to anybody. Will someone please tell us? that it takes years to be discovered. Because, I mean, if you ever need a volunteer. <laughs> she's a fine artist. Thank you. Lord knows, I mean, every Friday, she lugs her portfolio down to the art galleries, but she never steps inside. I have problems dealing with rejection. Oh, please don't cry. She cries at the drop of a hat. Obviously, Carol's hidden self is afraid to express her personal exhibitionist wishes. See, everything we do is a window into our subconscious. Now pay attention, because there will come a time where you will be able to look into that window and see who you are and why. And in that transformative moment, your life will become clear. I want you all to read my new book. It's only $29.95, and it's signed. The transformative moment. They'll swarm the bookstores. Henry, hey! Hi, birthday boy. Hey, Vic. Carol says I'm too predictable, which is a crock. But since you've known me longer than anybody, I value your opinion the most. OK. Quit tapping the pencil, OK, Ringo? And then wipe the white powder from your lip and your daily donut fix before someone thinks you've been blowing a kabuki. I knew I could count on you, Vic. Hey, waiter, where's my espresso? Oh, hey, Henry, I gotta go. Who'd he call? Here. See you tonight. Thank you. Check. OK, that's 1,200. Pious? Uh, guavas. Good one. Stand coming through. Mr. Feldman? I then want those reports on my desk in 24 hours. Have you got that? Now, run along. Ready, sir. Henry! Yeah? I want to talk to you. Yes, sir. Are you responsible for the bruises on these bananas? Oh, oh no, sir. This, that, that, that's uh, Martin, uh, Stan, Stan, Stan Martin, yes. In fact, I was just going to... Well, commend that son of a bitch. This goddamn idea I've seen in 22 years. Now you like it. Bet your ass. Change the whole line and bump it up another 300 gross. You know, since my Zoe died, I'm wearing nothing but custom today. That's what it's all about, change. That's what keeps the spirit going. That's what keeps your schwanz growing. And, you know, not to mention a, a little help from uh, the Blue Boys. You gotta try some, Henry. It'll turn your dick into the Terminator. Oh, <laughs> sounds very tempting, sir, but no thank you. Oh, and give that guy... Uh, Martin? Martin, yeah. You give him a raise, but not too much. Yes, sir. All right, baby. You went too, Mr. Burke. All right, you're trying to leave. I'd like to remind you, in 1997. Ah, oh, fuck it. Taxi! Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, my gosh. No, it's no, my fault. No, no, oh, please. Yeah. Forget me. <laughs> oh, you know, my husband has the same briefcase. I just bought it from on sale. Sale tax, I know. <laughs> kind of masculine, but I think it's sexy. Huh. Here. Oh, interesting. Oh my god, you're Madame Virginia. Whoa. Very nice. These are excellent. Is this you? No. <laughs> well, I mean, I am the artist, so artistically speaking, they're me. <laughs> Why, do you, do you like them?
Excuse me. Bud Light coming up. Wait a minute, make it a two board. Creature of habit, my ass. Two board. Two board it is. I never lock my briefcase. I mean, Vic and Gina will be here any minute. For your birthday dinner. I mean, at least you could have called. What, did you miss the train? Say something. Yellow pages. Yellow pages? Why do you want the yellow pages? Were you in an accident? See, travel agents. No, they'd be closed by now. Airlines. airlines. What do you want the airlines for when you know Vic and Gina are coming? Hello, Delta? I knew it. Uh, I'd like to uh, uh, get two tickets, please. Tickets? Uh, for tonight. What? Anywhere in Europe. Anywhere that's a hub. Uh, London, Paris, Baghdad, uh, uh, strike that. Uh, uh, Calcutta? Don't you need shots for that? What's the matter with you? Are you on something? What's the departure time? Hang on. Uh, how long does it take to get to Newark Airport from here? You've been drinking. By taxi? No, I can smell it on your breath. Uh, uh, um, 
Don't hang up. Hang up the phone. Uh, don't hang up. Uh, uh, 8 o'clock, taxi, 8.30, Newark, uh, check-in, security. I say by 10. No, I'm going to start getting angry very, very soon. Uh, uh, hold on one sec. Uh, 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 don't hang up. Carol, go pack. Trust me. Is this a joke? Because if it is, it isn't funny. Just pack one suitcase, a small one. Yeah, we'd like to make that uh, first class. Uh, just a change of underpants, and we'll buy everything else when we get there. Get where? Barcelona? Excellent. 2,200, 2,2, 1,500 hours. Oh, excuse me, what is that in real people time? You know, 10, 15 p.m. Excellent. Oh, please, Henry, you're scaring me. Uh, uh, it's Perkins. What? No, one way only. We're not coming back. <laughs> oh, Carol, please, sweetie, I promise I'll tell you everything. I'll explain it all. <laughs> Hello, Hoboken cab? Yes, I need a car right away to take two of us to Newark Airport. 15 minutes? Excellent. Perkins, 40 Sinatra Drive. Great. <laughs> oh, Henry. <laughs> Carol, Carol, just listen. No, you listen. You have been drinking and it's affected your brain. Nothing's affected my brain. Booking one-way tickets to Barcelona when we have dinner guests coming, that's normal? You know what? I think this is what Dr. Rogers warned us about. A midlife crisis. You think your life is going nowhere. It's probably not serious, just a temporary breakdown. I don't think it's a blood clot. What's that? What's it look like? It's money. What is it? It's five million dollars in cash and bearer bonds. But what is it? It's money, honey. Moolah. Our ship has come in, honey. We, we just hit the, the Donald freaking Trump jackpot. He's fired. <laughs> Passports. But how did this get into your briefcase? It's not my briefcase. What do you mean? Look, I was coming home on the train like I always do, and somehow I ended up with some guy's briefcase that's exactly like mine. Well, why didn't you give it back to him? To who? How? I didn't even know it wasn't my briefcase until I saw the five million. How do you know the exact amount? I counted it. On the subway? No, on the toilet, Barney's Tavern. I knew you were drinking. It's my transformative moment, as Mr. Rogers said. Oh, my God. Oh, I won't believe it. You okay, man? Oh, Yes. Damn. There it was. But it's not our money. It is now. Go and pack. Come on. It's stealing. Oh, no. I've given it a lot of thought, Carol. I figure the money's already been stolen. All unmarked bills bundled up in rubber bands. Probably a payoff to some drug dealer or something. And I don't think anybody's thinking about paying taxes on it. Therefore, the money does not exist. And if it doesn't exist, what did I steal? Nothing. Nada. Zilch. Zero. Donut. But Henry, this is insane. My conscience is clear, Carol. You know what? I've worked very hard for more than 20 years. I devoted my life to the artificial fruit business. And at long last, I finally got my golden apple. And you know something? It's not wax. It's real. OK? Yeah, well, we can't just fly to Barcelona at a moment's notice. Why not? You want to go someplace else? How about Bali? Hell, honey, we can buy Bali. What about our family? What family? I mean, no kids. You're an orphan. My folks are dead. No, they're not. They're retired in Florida. Same thing. Well, what about the police? The police will never get involved in this because nobody will ever report this money missing. Well, there's another reason that I need to stay here tonight, and that is that I finally showed my artwork today to someone, and... <clears throat> are you nuts? We can't even stay in the country. I go to the office tomorrow, I'm a dead man. Did you insult Mr. Feldman again? Not Mr. Feldman, Mr. Nasty. I have his briefcase. If I have his briefcase, he has mine. It's got all my stuff in it. Tomorrow, he'll come to the office looking for me and his briefcase. But by then, we'll be thousands of miles away, booked in some Spanish hotel as 
Mr. and Mrs. Cha-Cha-Cha. Olay. Nu am furat de la tine, șeful. Să moară mama, cum să furt de la tine? Mai scos din mahala? Gheorghe! Dumnezeu tău și Tău sunt eu. Uită de la mine, bine. Gheorghe, fii mei. Te mai întreb o dată. Pentru ultima dată. Unde-s bani? Sau Vlad, te împușcă? Ce faci, bă? Ce ai spus ăsta? Te împușcă? Nu. Tot. Sper că nu era ceva ce nu te plăia. Grădiți-vă! It's not unusual to be rich like no one else. Da-da-da-da-da. Henry, I've never seen you like this before. That's because I've never felt like this before. Ooh. How about a quickie? Come on, I'll do all the work. Oh, Henry, this is not the time. You're right, you're right. Cap will be here any second. I got an idea. We can do it in the taxi on the way to the airport. But Henry, something wonderful happened to me today. I'll say we're rich. Oh, God. Oh, that'll be Vic and Gina. Uh, you lose them. I'll continue packing. But what'll I tell them? They think that we're coming for pot roast. Uh, I got it. Tell him to go to the rainbow room, and it's on me. Mm. Oh, God, I can't believe this. Mm. Sorry it took me so long. I... Oh, I thought you were... I was expecting someone else. Detective Sergeant Gennaro. Oh, welcome, police. <laughs> Is there a problem, officer? No, no. It's better I speak with the guy who just came in here. Miss, uh... Mrs. Perkins. Yeah. Uh, my husband is upstairs at the moment, but he will be down shortly. <laughs> Would you like a nut? No. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. They're honey glazed. So they're a little sticky. Yeah. One on your... Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Henry! That's my husband, Henry. Oh. <laughs> and those are probably our friends, Vic and Gina. <laughs> uh. So please, please, would you, would you please sit down? Uh, or, or don't. <laughs> Henry! <laughs> <laughs> We're having dinner um, here tonight. Um, me and Henry, Vic and Gina. <laughs> It's his birthday. That's good. Well, it's Henry's birthday, not me. Play the door. Oh, sure. Um, I'm sure he'll be down just momentarily because he's changing in his birthday suit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't mean he doesn't have any clothes on. Hey, are you people deaf or what? Uh, what? Turn it up to nine, lady. I thought you were... You thought I'd be here in 15 minutes, but I made it in 10. Just remember that when it's time to tip a brother, all right? Excuse me? I'm your cab driver? Oh, right, the taxi cab. Yeah, you know what, actually, you know I'm a stand-up comic. Just, you know, right now I'm doing Sit down. <laughs> How nice. That's right, that would be a huge star, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where are your bags? Bags? Yeah, bags, lady. I'm not talking paper or plastic, either. <laughs> hey, that's funny. That kills at the safe way. OK, uh, <clears throat> where's your luggage to the airport? Um, the cab is not for me. It's for my, um, my sister. Yeah, yes, she's staying with us, but um, she'll be, be leaving tonight. Wait, 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 wait. The pickup here says uh, uh, Mr. Perkins. Oh, no, no, no. Mr. Perkins isn't going anywhere. <laughs> he just ma made the booking. He has no reason to leave. Well, I... uh, listen, why don't you wait in the taxi? Um, Angel. Angel, yeah. beautiful name. And uh, my husband will be down in a jiffy. He just, uh, my sister isn't quite ready yet. Where are they flying to? Uh, what terminal? I'm sorry? 
Your sister! What's her destination? Uh... Australia. Yes, yeah. yes. She's been here uh, visiting us, and now she'll be returning to Sydney. Good. A little down under action, huh? That's right. But look here, you tell Mr. and Mrs. Crocodile Dundee. So that's Mr. and Mrs. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick up Snoop says, uh, yep, says two people. Of course, because that is my sister Leslie and her husband, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Yes. Great. I'll be parked around the corner. Okay. <laughs> All right. See ya. Yeah. In just a little where my sister was. <sighs> okay. All packed. Just underpants to your two face. Uh, honey? Yeah. We have a visitor. Visitor? Oh, great. The cabbie. Detective Sergeant Zanero. Oh, oh. Really? Uh. What seems to be the problem, Detective? Uh, is my tool playing too loud again? The neighbors complain, I know. Nah. If your missus doesn't mind, I think it's better we discuss our business in private. I'll just wait till your sister-in-law's gone. Sister-in-law? He's referring to Leslie. Leslie? Yeah. She said they're just about to leave, man. When he says they... Leslie and Chris. Leslie and Chris. Back down under. Back down under. Down under, Sydney. Leslie, Chris, and Sydney. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for bringing their luggage down, honey. My pleasure. <laughs> you know... I don't think the sergeant needs to wait for Chris and Leslie to leave, do Absolutely you? Absolutely not. Oh, oh, that must be oh the cabbie. God. Angel's already here. Who's Angel? Cab driver. But he's really a stand-up comic. Well, that's probably uh, Vic and Gina, then. Uh, we uh, get rid of them? But we've invited them to your birthday dinner. Tell them, you know, leave their present and go. I want to keep my wife for myself tonight. You know, it's my birthday, not Vic's. <laughs> They'll understand. Just tell them we're uh, going to bed. After I've satisfied uh, the sergeant. Uh, when I say satisfied, it sounds funny. I mean, after I've helped uh, him uh, uh, in whatever help, help he needs. Uh, please. <laughs> Henry, I can't cope. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. She can. She just needs to dance. <laughs> uh, maybe I'd better answer the door. Would you mind waiting in the kitchen? Don't be long, Parker. I won't. You said Mr. Nasty wouldn't go to the cops. Who said he did? Well, why else would he want to see you alone? He doesn't know this isn't my life savings. Five million dollars. I've been frugal. <sighs> I need a drink. You don't drink? I don't care. Ah! Pull yourself together, Carol. This is the happiest day of our lives. Hey, y'all... Y'all know the meter ticking, right? Meter? In the taxi, man. Look here. Mm -hmm. I know waiting is part of my job, but I hate waiting. Unless it's for the latter or female with some tickle bitties, who's easy. You're the hack, that uh, the comic, right? Yeah, right, okay, uh, get the suitcase. What about the policeman? Police? Now, cops make me nervous. Last time I got pulled over for drunk driver, cop made me blow up a balloon. So what? It was the Goodyear blimp. Then I got out, he said I was too drunk to even walk. I said, why the hell you think I'm driving? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just wait in the taxi, will you, Def Jam? Hey, what about your in-laws, are they going? It's not the in-laws that are going, it's the outlaws. Yeah. I can't go through with this. It's making me a nervous wreck. It's already driven me to drink. You go without me. How many times do I have to tell you, Carol? Tomorrow morning, Mr. Nasty will call my office and get our address. And if he comes here and you're still here, he'll put you in the cuisine art, set it to frappe, and he'll chop, dice, and stir you into minced Housewife. And that'll all be thanks to you. So they left. Oh, who's that? Your wife's sister and the husband. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Chris uh, and Leslie? Chris and Leslie. It's the last name together, the pronunciation. Like, brown. That's right. Sometimes I use a brawn or groin. <laughs> oh, my God. Carol, you are a bundle of nerves. It's just Vic and Gina. Don't forget to tell him about my uh, surprise birthday present in bed. <laughs> She's so, uh, gentle. Come with me, Sergeant. Sorry we're late. Oh, Gina, I say we, but that stupid husband of mine is down the street yelling at a cabbie. The cabbie? He had a taxi that was parked down the street. Some little black guy. Of course, Vic calls him a... Angel. No, I believe it was a four-letter word. Oh, Gina, it's terrible. Henry's gone crazy. He's in the kitchen now with the police. 
Have I missed a couple sentences here? He stole five million dollars. Who has? Henry. Henry stole five million dollars? He picked up the wrong briefcase, went to a bar, saw all this money, sat on the toilet, overcome. Hey, you know what? Whole paragraphs are disappearing now. <laughs> you know, I was doing my stakeout tonight over at that Barney's Tavern. Barney's? Yeah. I observed some pretty strange behavior from you. From me? Strange? Well, how strange? Very strange. Oh, God. Oh, shit. He bought a one-way ticket to Barcelona, and if I don't like it there, he's gonna buy Bali for me. Carol, you are imagining all of this. We are talking about Henry here, sweetheart. You're Henry. Henry couldn't possibly steal five million. Henry, you son of a bitch. What am I gonna do? I take Bali. What a moron. He's, he's calling the cops. Cops? More cops? He says he's taking your sister to Newark Airport? <laughs> I need a kid. I think I need one, too. So does Carol. Carol doesn't drink. She does now. Old Bushmill a double. I kind of like to know what you were doing on that toilet. Toilet? What? Oh, the toilet. Oh. Yeah, I had a little intestinal uh, cash, uh, gas. No, no, don't bullshit me. No, sir. And now Mr. Nasty is going to chop, dice, and mince me. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll be with you in a second, Sarge. What happened? You've been arrested? Don't say anything without a lawyer. My hairdresser, Cynthia, has a second cousin that body waxes, Alan Dershowitz. Should I call her? Henry, these aren't real. Carol, you shouldn't have told them. Well, I thought Vic could talk some sense into you. You were supposed to take the present and blow them off. Charming. Nice. And stop drinking. You're going to make, you make yourself sick. Give me, give me that. Yes, what did the sergeant say? He wasn't exactly satisfied with my explanation. Oh, I knew you should have turned the money in. You give it back, apologize, tell him they didn't realize it was the wrong briefcase. Mm, take it easy. He doesn't know anything about the money. But you just said he wasn't satisfied with your explanation. About my behavior at Barney's Tavern, that's all. What's he talking about? God only knows. The cop was on a stakeout at Barney's, uh, and he thought my behavior was a little strange, going in and out of the men's room, back and forth, and I confessed. And confessed to what? Soliciting. Soliciting what? Men. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Why would he think you were soliciting men? Well, he claims he saw me going to the John four times in a half hour, and each time I came out, he said I looked more and more excited. Apparently, I was also breathing heavily, and my hands were shaking, and I was frothing at the mouth. Anyway, for $10,000, he won't say a thing. You can't bribe a police officer. Hey, I offered him five. He wanted 20. We settled on 10. OK, tell the taxi driver we'll be right down. That taxi's going nowhere. He's out of commission. Out of commission? Vic backed into him. That's not true. He backed into me. Now our bumpers are locked. Well, unlock them, Vic. I got a plane to catch. Oh, get a load of him. Yeah, you see what money does to people? Come on, Gene, I need to take this. Screw the nouveau reach. Oh, can you believe my Henry? He hasn't been here 10 minutes, and he's already admitted to soliciting men, bribed a police officer, and bought Bali. And you married him. You lucky dog. 10,000. Factura. Feldman, fabricado de fruta de plástico. Duma en Manhattan. Hey, 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 hey! You gonna dip my fender, man? Come Shut on. up! I'll dent your head. You couldn't get a head of lettuce. Oh, you want a piece of me? Hey, you <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Amarillo. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh! 
Oh, my. I'm sorry. Are you Mrs. Perkins? Why, are you selling something? No, no. Uh, Detective Slater, NYPD. Homicide? That's right. I'm afraid I have some rather disturbing news for you, ma'am. We have reason to believe Mr. Perkins, your husband, well, he's dead. Dead in what sense? Well, two bullet holes through the back of the head, dead. Bullet? His body was dumped in, in the East River. River? His face was badly beaten. Several ribs were broken. We'll know more after the au autopsy. So it wasn't an accident, then? No. No. Maybe I should make you a cup of coffee. Mm. Where's yeah. the kitchen? Over there. Oh, no! No. I don't drink. I mean, I don't drink coffee. Mm. So tell me, what makes you think that this body is my Henry? Although we found no formal identification mm -hmm. on him, he still had his briefcase. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Oh. This is your husband's briefcase. Mm. It? It's been in the river. Mm. The police divers recovered these. Oh. That's the tuna sandwich I made, Henry. He just loves the way I mince the onions. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, formal identification is going to be required. No. This is definitely a tuna sandwich. Of the body. Oh. Are you sure you're OK? Yes, I'm fine. Heartbroken, but fine. Okay, uh, we can go in my car if you'd like. It's it's right across the Holland Tunnel. He's in the morgue there. Mm -hmm. Should I wait here while you go get your purse? Oh, no, no. I would rather you wait down in the car. Oh, <laughs> are you sure you look a little shaky? Well, how would you feel if your husband was shot and didn't get to finish his lunch? Uh, of course, yeah. No, um, is there anybody else in the house? Huh? To look after you? Yes. There's my sister, Leslie. Oh, good. Sister? Yes, she's here. She's here, and she's upstairs, and she's with her husband, and it's Leslie and Chris. You do bleed 1,000 short. Uh, honey, say hello to... Slater. Hi, how are you? Detective Slater. Detective? NYPD. He's brought some disturbing news that I don't think that I'm quite sure how to handle. Why don't you sprawl out and relax a little bit, sweetie, and you have a little... You know, I'm better standing. It's easier to get to the drinks. Oh. <laughs> Put your foam on me, I'm your foam on Yeah? You're a little bit. I'm going to go to the house and go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. OK, we go on three, crab driver. One, two, asshole. Three. What uh, seems to be the problem, Detective? Who are you? Mr. Perkins. Are you a relative, sir? Of whom? Of Henry A. Perkins. I yes, am. he is Henry's brother. Henry's brother. Yes, he is poor, poor Henry's dear brother. I'm afraid I have a shock for you, sir. We have pretty much every reason to believe that Mr. Henry Perkins is dead. Yep, that's a shock, all right. He's been murdered. We fished his body out of the East River. Kicked the bucket. Two bullet wounds in the head. Pushing up the old daisies. I get it, Carol. He's dead. All he had with him was his briefcase. This is your brother's? Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
God, oh God. Since Mrs. Perkins is the next of kin, we need her to make a positive identification of the body. Right. Uh, Mr. Nasty. Nasty. It's a nasty, nasty thing. Henry. You can't call him back, Carol. Henry's gone to heaven. He's gone to heaven. You just have to rely on me now. Henry's little brother, Freddy. Gilbert. Freddy. Gilbert. She's in shock. Dick, look at that strange guy in front of Carol and Henry's. What? You don't think that's just a nasty? Idiots. Actually, it's Freddie Gilbert Perkins. You'll have to excuse my wife. Uh, yes, uh, my wife. I mean, you'll have to excuse my wife. I don't know where the heck she could be. I know she'd want to be here to comfort poor Carol. Uh, Bernice. Uh, Bernice is my wife, of course. Uh, uh, she must be resting up before we uh, uh, take off for Sydney. Australia, huh? You're a long way from home. I know. Not sorry. I, we've had quite a nice walk about here in the States. And it's a uh, time, you know, it's uh, lambing season. We have some shearing uh, to do and hunt down a few of those crocs and turn them out and throw a few shrimp on the barbie. We're going to have to tell Leslie and Chris as well, Freddie. Oh, yeah. That's going to put a damper on the family reunion. <sighs> How about I, I make some coffee while you stay in the den? But oh, Henry brother might. loved the den. Second part. He was very fond of the curb outside, uh, in front of the house. Uh, uh, extraordinary. He liked to stay out there, and he could ruminate for hours. Why don't you wait outside? I'd rather wait up here. No, I'm waiting. 1,000. Hmm? Yeah, OK. That's my other brother. Uh, he's... <laughs> other brother? Yes, that's Archie. We, we're in the middle of the game of droughts. Droughts, droughts, you know, darts. Henry! It's no use calling him. Yeah, but Henry... She just can't accept that he's gone. It's me, Freddie, Henry's brother. Yeah, well, what are we gonna do? We're, we're gonna pray. Yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, oh, God almighty. Detective, you seem like a man who uh, enjoys fine art. You like maple syrup? There's a price to pay. If you get in the way of my money It's time to give me the money She's a tasty treat Like honey so sweet But I'm goddamn pissed That you couldn't resist I want the money I'm in love with all She's been funny <laughs> Now shut up and put up Baby don't act up I get worked up And you get slapped up For my money What are all the nude guys doing out? Listen to what I've been trying to tell you. I went down to the Soho Art Gallery today, and the Madame Virginia loved me. My work, I mean. She even, she even told me to call her V. Carol, this is fantastic. I know. Henry Perkins <laughs> is dead. Nobody's coming after him. Hey, you're not even listening to me. Well, that had to be Mr. Nasty who got shot. So he's not coming after us. What's that? Oh. Give me. Hello? I'm I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Who is it? I don't know, he sounds foreign. Hmm? What? He keeps saying brefakas. Brefakas. Brefakas, brefakas. Brefakas, brefakas. Case. Huh? Case. I... Give me the. I'm sorry. The, the, the briefcases have moved to Thailand. Good day. Breath curse. Breath curse. Breath curse. Breath curse. That was probably Mr. Big. Who's Mr. Big? The guy who shot Mr. Nasty. Well, why is he calling us? Because we have Mr. Nasty's briefcase with Mr. Big's money in it. Henry! You'll never guess what we just did. Never mind, Big. We gotta get out of here right away. We can't go now. She's right. Mr. Nasty. Carol, you're bombed. You're not making any sense. I know what's best. Oh, yeah, Mr. Know It All. Then you tell me how we're gonna make a break for it with NYPD Blue waiting in the tent. NYPD who? Never mind, Dick. 
But Gina's outside with the body. Yes. Who is going to identify the dead body? Dead body? No, no, no. Vic, not. please. Please. I think the briefcase is ringing. Don't answer. It's him again. Who? Mr. Nasty. No, no, can't be Mr. Nasty. He's You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's uh, uh, Mr. Big. Do I know Mr. Big? He's Mr. Brrrfkers. Mr. Who? He's the guy who killed Mr. Nasty. He's foreign. Who is? Mr. Brrrfkers. He's Mr. Big. How did he get your phone number? It's not our phone. It's Mr. Nasty's phone. Oh, I'm scared. Why? Because I think I'm starting to understand you. You don't have to be nice and nasty. I thought Mr. Nasty was dead. He couldn't be. He's... He is. I meant Mr. Big. Who's Mr. Big? Here we go again. Burgers. Burgers. If Mr. Nasty is dead, then who's the guy on the front porch? Oh, my God, Mr. Feldman. He's soaking wet. What'd you do to him? Vic hit him with your birthday present. You didn't. Yeah, 89, whole oh, real. You didn't? Really? It's fabulous year. Would somebody tell me who this guy is? It's Henry's boss. Welcome to our home, Mr. Feldman. I thought he was Mr. Nasty. He pulled a knife on me. Cigar clippers. What, do you think he was going to give you a pedicure? <laughs> Don't worry, he's alive. Grandpa's got a boner the size of the Chrysler building. Well, that's because he's been using the stiff stuff. I've been talking to Vic about using me. Gina! What'd I say? It's not like he has a major problem or anything. Sometimes, and only sometimes, I lose my concentration. It's you know, no trouble rising to the occasion. It's just that I tend to leave the party early. <laughs> Too much info, Vic. Carol, what's Mr. Feldman doing here anyway? I invited him for your birthday dinner. Henry, this is an omen. It is God telling you to give the money back. I'll deal with God when we get to Barcelona. Oh, God. We're dead. How did he get our phone number? Because Miss Howard Stern gave him our last name. Oh, birthday boy, that's it. Gina, we're out of here. Can't we wait till intermission? Your phone's ringing. Fine ringing? I don't hear a fine ringing. Mm. Uh, it must be the telly upstairs. Yeah, maybe your ears are plugged. Please, give us a minute. We're grieving. This is a very painful time for us. Very painful? Pulsingly. <gasps> hey, Perkins. All right, what are you doing? Time is money, isn't it? I'm out of one here, I'm waiting on the other. The fish? Huh? Hello. Yeah, just a minute. Hi, Mom. How's the uh, laryngitis? Yeah, okay, I love you too. Bye. Just push. Check my best. Hey, snap it up. You didn't forget about the rest of your charitable contribution to my policeman's fund, did you? I mean, it is tax deductible. Are any of you crazy ass white people going to the airport tonight? Because my meat is running like a crackhead with mama's VCR. Yes, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, my in laws. No, you mean your outlaw? No. I know what I mean, you know what I mean? Why, why don't you wait outside? I ain't waiting around here all damn night. I'm giving you five minutes. You got that? One, two, three, four, five, and I'm adios. I'm out of here. You got that? And I better get a fat ass tip. You know what I mean? There'll be, be, there'll be less than that. Here, here. Take the Browns bag, okay? What, just one suitcase traveling all the way from Australia? Huh. All right. What, a nudist? Yeah. Crazy ass nudist. You know, you got a point there. Two people around the world trip in one suitcase. Hey, are they noticed? Only when they take their clothes off. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm just thinking maybe you and the wife really the ones going on the trip. Oh, no, no, no. Where are they then, these in-laws? Chris and Leslie? Yeah. Leslie's outside, isn't he, Henry? That's correct. And I'm Chris. Yes, uh, this is this is Chris. <laughs> my wife's sister from Sydney. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My sister from Sydney! It's gotta stop! It never ends! It never ends! What the hell are you doing? Let's go! Leslie, my God, good day. Good day? Yes, good day. Yes, I'm just talking with my mate uh, for Dingo here from the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen? Uh, yes, the kitchen, about the 10,000, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Believe we're even. Well, be careful crossing the street, Sergeant. We wouldn't want anybody running you over like a dog and leaving you squirming and writhing in the street. Well, thanks for your concern, Puck. That, that, that touches me. But, uh, I mean, if I thought I was in any danger at all out here, I mean, I'd just blast that car up. Bang, bang. Yeah. I'll shoot the insides out of a cannoli. Anyway. <laughs> been rewarding. I can't wait to come back for a visit. Now you'll be safe. Look forward to seeing you. Woof! Thank God he's gone. Now I feel like a drink. I feel like a cigarette. Maybe I should go out and come back in again. Shut up, Vic. Help me move him. All right. Grab his feet. Let's get him up. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Perkins. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, detective, are you through uh, licking the satcher's ass? <laughs> yes, uh... <laughs> no, that... <laughs> the... The body's waiting at the morgue. We really must be going. Ah, I know, I know the feeling. Uh, listen, we ought to get you washed up first. You know, I'd love it if you'd make the coffee. It's in the cupboard. I like mine black. All right, this is weird, watching you take off another man's pants. I am in the medical profession. You're a dental hygienist. What the hell are you two doing? His suit is drenched. Do you want him to catch pneumonia? Well, show the man some dignity. He's naked, for God's sakes. Ooh. Ooh. What now? Carol! What's up, Angel? My blood pressure. Still waiting on this wacko couple to go to Newark Airport. There's a breakdown only eight blocks from you. You want that fare? Screw them naked fools. Mrs. Perkins? Grease, left on seven. What are you trying to do, kill yourself? Well, it's better than going to jail. You're not going to jail. Betty Ford, maybe, but not jail. Leave me alone! Carol, stop it! I am need privacy! Everybody out! Hey, Perkins! Chefule, după ce luăm banii, poate vedem și noi o piesă pe Broadway. Ia uite, se joacă și mizerabili. Audio timeline, 8.55 p.m., a major clue discovered. <gasps> 8.55, 17 seconds, a second major clue. Three, three, that's three major clues in roughly under 45 seconds. Hey, do me a favor, will you, Leslie? <laughs> Call me Vic. Uh, <laughs> Vic, <laughs> you listen to that neurotic cabin. Will you see duty stays here? Whoa. Ain't you hot under those blankets? We were not expecting you back, Sergeant. Right, Leslie? Y yeah, that's right. That's right. That way you look so guilty. 
guilty. We're just sitting here. Yeah, we're just relaxing, kicking back, you know. Whew, what a night. Whoa. You know, I've been outside noodling. My gut's bothering me now. I don't buy your story anymore. Why not? I thought it was a, a good one. I mean, first you brag about getting lucky on your birthday, bumping skin with the old lady. And in fact, you can squeeze out a fart, you confess to me your affair. There's a very, very, very good explanation for that. Well, you got my attention. Yeah, mine too. Carol, my wife. Yeah. <laughs> this is the real me, thanks to Dr. Rogers, not you. Carol! She's a man. A man? Shh. Keep it down, Leslie. You know how sensitive he is. Transsexual, actually. A very prominent Beverly Hills uh, doctor who had the operation a couple of years ago. Cost us a fortune. And I talked to the whole job. Hell of a job. Oh, well, you don't think I can tell the difference between... So what can I do for you, Sergeant? Nothing. You can't be split. Lift your suitcase right in the street. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Well, I wouldn't want anyone to rip his off. That guy scares me. Scares me, too. Hey, uh, give me the keys to your car. What for? Get to the airport. You heard him. The cab's gone. Can't take my car. Give you 5,000. 10. 7, 5. Done. Done. 904 p.m. have assembled the victim's attire. I uh, suspect that the victim was a male, roughly 5'11", maybe, maybe 5'12". 5'11", 188 pounds, I think. Uh, by the look of it, I would say there's definitely a naked and dead body somewhere in this house. Sorry, it's not your fault. Uh... Cinderella, your coach has arrived. Yeah. Yeah, is it true what they say about you redheads? Is it true what they say about cabbies? Hell yeah! <laughs> what they say? Okay, here's your 7,500, Mr. My Best Thank Friend. Thank you. Mr. Perkins, something smells rotten and I don't like it. Wasn't me. You must be Mrs. Perkins' brother-in-law. Brother? Brother. Mr. Perkins, did you know there's a naked dead man in your house? Oh, no, 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 that was an accident. I, I, I was totally self-defense. Where is he? Well, I don't know yet. I've only found his clothes. So you don't really know that he's dead. You only know that he's naked. I'll tell you what I do know. These clothes contain blood spatters, which could only come from a gunshot wound caused by a Ruger Super Red Hawk 44 Magnum with a hologram scope. Or a bottle of Chateau Aubriand. Likely story. It's got a big nose, robust. It's the 89. Excellent. Hey, someone's got to be a clicker run. Well, she's in for the night. Carol! Detective, I'd like you to meet my sister-in-law. Uh, Leslie, let's go downstairs and have that cup of coffee. What did the fish say when he swam into the wall? What? Damn! Why did Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? Why didn't she tell me? For drizzle! <laughs> That's so not funny. Hide <laughs> right, the briefcase so Slater doesn't see it. Mr. Perkins! Mr. Perkins! Henry! Kevin! Detective, where did you go? Mr. Perkins, who's going to identify the body? What body, Henry? I told you not to use that name, Leslie. What name, Henry? That name, Leslie. I might just break down and weep like a baby. <laughs> he does know, doesn't he? Yes, he knows. I told him. Told me what? That Henry Perkins is dead. Dead? Uh, how do you mean, dead? I thought you just said that you told him. I did tell him. I just got so far as to tell him that uh, Henry wasn't looking too well. His body was found with two bullet holes in the East River. I guess that would explain why he wasn't looking too well. 
I was trying to break it to him gently. He, he was identified by his briefcase. Oh, yeah, his perfect curse. This is why Carol was so upset. Poor dear Carol. It's a good thing her brother-in-law was here. Yes. I thought I was the brother-in-law. You are. We both are, just from different sides of the family. That's something else I know, isn't it? Now, do you see why I had to break it to him slowly? It's never been the same since he fell off that kangaroo. Henry had two brothers-in-law, you, Leslie, and me, Freddy. Because <laughs> Henry is dead. <laughs> yes. Tragic. Yes. <laughs> Now everybody in the family knows that Henry's dead. Dead, dead, dead. Chris and Leslie and Carol and my wife, Bernice, and me, reliable Freddy. What about Archie? Who's Archie? Oh, come on, you don't want to go out there. Trust me, it's easy to stay out than it is to get out. I'll be back in a bit. Hey, Doc. Would you believe a love at first sight? Now we're going to walk by here again. Keep walking. Hello? Anybody home? Mrs. Perkins? It's, uh, Madam Virginia. Mrs. Perkins. <gasps> Is Archie still here? Oh, no, Archie had to leave. Are you guys here that good-looking broke him in here? He's back. What? He is? Uh, nice to see you again, Archie. What are you talking about? I said it's good to see you again, I Archie. don't think you've officially met my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my brother Archie, Detective Slater. Uh, please. Are you a cop? NYPD. Well, this is my big brother, Archie Perkins. Yeah, Archie Perkins. Yeah. I'm glad to meet you. I hate him. We need to fall into a vat of hot wax and get molded into a giant corn of the cob. What happened to my Henry? The Henry I fell in love with. The Henry that used to paint my toenails. You know, Carol, if my husband brought home a briefcase full of money, I'd be out of the door in a flash. Yeah, well, it's not about the money. Tonight was going to be my night. I was finally going to be discovered. Honey, don't you think you're a little bit overdressed? Who are you? Where am I? This fantasy must be costing me a fortune. Is this a dream? No. I'm real. NYPD, a little out of your jurisdiction, though, isn't it? Well, I'm waiting for Mrs. Perkins to accompany me to the morgue to identify the body. <laughs> There's a body now. Doesn't he know, Freddy? Freddy, is it? Uh, the sad thing about it, Arch, is that um, uh, Henry's dead. No! Oh, Freddy. You know, last time I seen him, I thought he looked a little bit pale. He was shot in the head and drowned in the river, Archie. He always had the suicidal tendencies. We suspect murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> hey, uh, Leslie, why don't you take uh, brother Archie up on the roof uh, and discuss uh, the kind of cash he may be getting from Henry's... Will, Freddy, we're all in. Freddy, I don't think the roof is a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a very good idea. Freddy! Yeah, you put me in another blank. to worry about. Freddy! Not too many blanks. Oh, well, now, how about that? Don't say coffee! Huh? I want Mrs. Perkins now! Well, now, Detective, I realize she's an available woman, but don't you think it's a little soon after her husband's demise and to be thinking that sort of thing? I need it that way. Yeah, well, I never heard of that. Mr. Perkins. Surprise! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy... Can't 
Safety cap. Oh! Why were those people singing happy birthday, Henry, to you? And there's a very good reason. Yes? Henry and I are twins. Ah! Identical. Identical twins. My, 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 this is getting more complicated by the minute. And you call yourself a detective. Maybe this case is just a little too big for the NYPD. I tell you what, when I go out there and explain to those people about poor Henry, I'm sorry. You stay here and you make that coffee. It's still in the cupboard. Twins. Ah! And I, he's got two first class tickets to Greece. And Dr. Dr. Reno! It was Michelangelo. No, it was Da Vinci. He said that man is in the wrong to be ashamed to exhibit it. He ought to adorn and display it. Hey, let's face it. Women everywhere dream of going with an Italian named Marcello to Venezia. <laughs> you ever hear of a chick wanting to go with a Jew named Marie to Tel Aviv? Well, unless he's charming, good looking, smart, funny, sexy. Did I mention I was rich? Hmm, so am I. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for coming. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody, uh, I just want to say thank you very much. You really did surprise me. Thank you. My friend Henry Perkins, a regular guy, if ever I knew one. Henry's as regular as x lax uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. That Henry Perkins does not exist anymore. In fact, Henry Perkins is dead. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Doesn't anybody like the guy? Mm, nope. I said cream and sugar, didn't I? Come on. Party going on here. Open this door, Carol. Oh my God, Carol, what have you done? Wake up! Wake up, Carol! Please, oh, wake up! Yeah. Tonight's party is a theme party. Ooh. I'm sure Carol oh. told you on the phone when she set this incredible thing up. I don't know where she is. Probably upstairs doing her nails. She should be down. Uh, by breakfast. Come on, honey. Ah. Open wide! <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's a murder mystery. Henry's been shot in the head twice. <laughs> Nobody knows who's done it. It could be anybody here. We've hired two actors uh, to play police detectives. So that should make it a little more interesting. And remember, I... Henry's evil twin, Freddy. You know, it's great that we are both in the arts. Yours hangs on museum walls, and mine sits on kitchen tables. <laughs> Mr. Feldman, Stan Martin. Who are you? I work for you. Bruised bananas. Oh, yeah, Martin. The whiz kid. Huh. Why don't you whiz on over to the bar and grab us a couple of glasses of Chardonnay? Sure. What happened? Well, so far my pleading ignorance has cost you a hundred grand. A hundred grand? What? First he wanted fifty for not spilling the beans about Henry, Leslie, Freddie, and Archie. What about the other fifty? For not spilling the beans about Carol being a man. What? See, this is what happens when you leave the room for five minutes. Where, where is Captain Corruptus now? Oh, he's up on the roof singing if I was a rich man. Vic? I just want you to know that your wife not only broke her bathroom door, but she assaulted my person. Carol, you cannot go to the airport dressed like that. That's because I'm not going. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life on the lam. For God's sakes, Carol, just go. Henry needs looking after. Yeah, well, he can find someone else. Don't think I couldn't. I can think of a thousand women who jump at the chance. Yeah? Me one. Gina Johnson. You what? That is, if you wouldn't mind, then, uh, you know, Henry would take me. Is, is something wrong with my hearing? Very well, then. <laughs> I'm sure you two will be very happy together. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have party guests to attend to. Um, get a grip of yourself. <laughs> Carol 
always didn't know how to make an entrance. Hi, Bill. Oh, thanks. Mary Ann. Singurul Henry Perkins in Homboken. Locul nașterii al lui Frank Sinatra. Gura și conduc. Joey is the best school ever made. I mean, I haven't whacked anybody either. Mr. Perkins, I have had it. Where'd you go to tech? Oh, no, 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 that's enough of that. I've had it with that, uh, I... Okay. Who's booked on an 1107 flight to Greece? Let me see that. That's not a reservation for an airline. That's a reservation for a Broadway show on uh, November the, the 7th. Broadway show? Yeah, it's a revival of uh, Greece. You know, we go together, together like shaman, I'm, 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 ding, 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 This was my birthday present to Henry. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's another 250 down the drain, huh, Leslie? Excuse me, do you have a corkscrew? Mr. Perkins. Don't answer that. Hey, 40 Sinatra Drive. Okay. Who was that, Stan? Mr. Burfkurs is on his way. Burfkurs. You smell lamb? Fire! Fire! Oh, God. Fire! 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 Tampering with evidence? Felony. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Oh, no, 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 no. This is just my briefcase. Just. My briefcase, just like yours. It, they just look alike. That's all. See, look, show me. See, same time. <laughs> Great minds think alike, detective. I'd like that piece of paper back. Piece of paper, yes, indeed. It's right. Uh, there we are. Mr. Parkins, as an officer of the law. I'm ordering you to come with me to identify your brother's body. What are you, insane? I can't identify Henry's body. He was my twin. It'd be like, like looking at myself on a, uh, dead on a slab. I just need some member of the family to come with me. Well, not me. You'd be well paid, Leslie. It's not unusual for one of the members of the Breed family to volunteer for the job. I'd never volunteer. On principle. You'd be well, well paid. No, Leslie. there's no payment involved in this. You know what I mean, for transportation. Transportation? He's got to go across the river. Yes, across the river and back. Do you know how much the tolls are? Look, why don't you just let the family take care of this? You finish making the coffee. I've made the coffee. I've made the coffee twice. I'm sure it is cold by now. Old as ice. Better make a new pot. Okay, Leslie. Oh, not the going, Freddie. Freddie. I'm I mean, Leslie. I'm not doing, Freddie. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Brother, you don't know broke. I'm so broke. I got groceries on layaway. <laughs> don't worry. I'm making more. I'm not going down to that morgue. Vic, I'm begging you, please. Not in a million years. There's cash in it for you. It's not a question of how much. 10,000, 30, 20, 25. Done. It's amazing how fast it goes. <laughs> so are you surprised that someone bumped Henry off? No, man, not if all the stories about Cal doing uh, Henry's twin brother, Freddie, are true. You know something's going on there. Hiya, fellas. Uh, Slater, homicide. I'm investigating the whole Perkins murder thing. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. You were saying Mrs. Perkins wasn't faithful? That woman yeah. was born with her legs apart. When she dies, they're going to put her in a Y-shaped coffin. Well, did Mr. Perkins have any enemies? Everybody hated Henry and his brother. Women, children, everybody hated Henry Perkins. Hey, hey, off the record, Henry and his twin brother, Freddie, were selling drugs, soliciting women, that the wax fruit factory is actually their cover for a white slavery ring. Oh, yeah, I'll talk to you later.
Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> hey, Pops, and you the bedtime. <laughs> uh, what do you call a woman who's paralyzed from the waist down? Maverick. <laughs> Thanks. Carol, Carol, oh. we got a skedaddle. Mr. Big's on his way here. You know, you'll never understand the needs of an artist. There are no art critics coming tonight. I hate to be the one to tell you that, but I do have a surprise for you. It'll make up for tonight and for all the promises I never kept. Because I love you so much, Gary. That's our present. Oh, well, it's the thought that counts. Uh, here it is. Well, then. I'll take my 25 Gs now, Henry. I'm surprised at you, Vic. You don't take money for helping a friend. <laughs> yes, I do. Besides, we're not friends. We're family. <laughs> at it again, huh, boys? You know it's a crime. It's a crime you weren't one of my regular shakedowns. <laughs> Give me my hundred grand. Come on now. It's a bargain. Yeah, it is a bargain. Dad. Give me another one. Don't forget my money, Henry. You're gonna squeeze it himself? No, I am getting paid for services rendered. We can leave them all behind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Perkins. I can't seem to find the, oh my goodness. I guess he's got the three of us at it now, huh? <laughs> it's, it's not what it looks like. Uh, Slater, uh, Leslie's decided to accompany you to the morgue. Good, let's go, Leslie. Yeah, I just need five minutes to get ready. Another five minutes? He's got his hands full at the moment. Fine, I'll wait for you down in the car. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, buddy, get up. Have a little fun. Hey, fellas, seriously. Stay close. <laughs> what is a husband's idea of foreplay? A half hour of begging. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I mean, I hate to bring this up, but I'm a little, I'm a 5G short. What the hell is this? Ooh, wow. I don't believe it. I don't know. I got it. Here's the money. Search, Vic. That's not a bad idea, Vic. Hey, you can insult my cheese wheel. You could even steal my wife. But I draw the line at being called a crook. All right, I'm sorry about your cheese wheel, but I mean, we were seriously. Where could it be? I put, I put it just right down here. He comes in, and I dance it. Then he comes in, and it's a... Slater. Slater. Then whose birth Chris is this? Thank you. And it's a front for a white slavery ring. Captain, I know you're starving, but my instincts tell me the murderer is here. Try that, 
de cucinar pe culo asta. Uh, Mr. Perkins, where's Leslie? Uh, he'll be down in about five minutes. Five minutes? That's all I've been hearing all night. If he's not down very, very soon, I'm gonna be forced to make an arrest. Who are you gonna arrest? Well, when I do, it's gonna be evident who that person is. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I do that? Where's Leslie? He'll be down in five minutes. Five minutes. They said it should cost money to put it in What the hell's the difference? Put the hunter in a backseat! <laughs> Glad you're alive. <laughs> I won't be coming back to work. I, I, I'm retiring early. Henry, Don't try to change my mind. This is not about you or, or wax fruit. It's about my wife. I really need you. Carol needs me more. And you know what I realized tonight? I need her. And I need some pets. Mr. Perkins, your wife, Carol, what a talent. I would very much like to give her a show at my gallery. Me? Yes. And I think. This might belong to you. I have one just like it, and I must have picked up yours by mistake. Oh. Sal, I have the feeling you won't be needing those pants. Oh. Happy birthday, Henry. We are out of here. Come on, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Feldman's Wax Fruit presents Tom Jones! Ah! Haven't you heard Henry's dead? Well, I know that it's late and I really must leave you alone. But you're good to hold Hi, and I'm feeling such a long way from Henry. home. Hi. Yes, I know that I love What? This is the real piece of the money. Oh, tell me, baby, that Thank you, Henry. They're here! Where? Mr. Perkins! It's been over five minutes! Traffickers! What? Awesome. It's like a scene from a Tarantino movie. Traffickers. Looks like we'll all be going to the morgue. Make a wish, honey. Drop it! They're real bullets, everybody! Party, Henry. Thanks. He's got a gun! Let's 
Go, 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 go. I'm a cop. I changed my mind. I want to go to Barcelona. Not Barcelona, it's Greece. Greece? I always wanted to go to Greece. It's my dream. I love you. Me too. Get out of the back terrace. Come on. Hey. Dead. Vasily Sultan, suspected Romanian crime syndicated boss, was one of the three men found dead in the apartment of Henry and Carol Perkins. Detective Dennis Slater is the officer who cracked the case. Detective Slater, how'd you do it? No, I cannot comment on the particulars of this case. Are you watching what However, I'm watching? On a personal note, white slavery is wrong, sex toys should be for adults only, and drugs kill, as is evidenced by this ghastly occurrence. <laughs> hey, listen, I spoke to the broker. He said, we give him cash and knock off this. What the hell is this? Take a walk. 
song Lift your voice and sing along Throw your troubles into the waves Watch those troubles float away And smile Everybody smile Come on and smile Everybody smile Put a smile on your face Your new life has begun You will find your place Find your place in the sun People say, grab your dreams and run away and smile. Everybody smile. Come on and smile. Everybody smile. Smile. Come on and smile. Everybody smile. Come on and smile. Velvet paintings into Drink bikinis, pineapple martinis, smile. Everybody smile, come on and smile. Put a smile. 